10, 9, 8. A successful start seven, on the latest mission five, for a company making four, a business out of three, space. 2, 1. Lift off, about the nine. SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket launched 10 satellites for Iridium, a mobile and data communications company that wants to upgrade its technology. The company aims to replace at least 70 of its satellites this way, a $3 billion project for SpaceX. We're really seeing almost a shift in the way we explore space. It's no longer about NASA or government agencies. It's really about these private individuals who can make space affordable. They can make money out of space and they can bring enrichment and benefit for life back here on Earth. SpaceX can make such projects more affordable by reusing equipment like fuel tanks and engines that power the beginning of the mission. One of the most important parts of this trip was successfully getting the first stage of the rocket, which had propelled its payload 50 kilometers up, back down to the Earth's surface and successfully landing it on a football field sized platform in the Pacific Ocean. The company led by billionaire Elon Musk has already sent supplies to the International Space Station and is working on getting astronauts there as well, something that only used to be possible by state space agencies like NASA. They've had setbacks though, including in September when a rocket taking a $200 million satellite for Facebook blew up. An investigation concluded there was a problem with one of the helium tanks. They want to be able to provide re reliable launch services for customers, and they demonstrated that today very, very well. And it continues a, a very good record, actually, uh, providing successful launch services, even though they've had several mishaps in the past. And that hasn't put the company off making groundbreaking goals like sending spaceships of people up to colonize Mars, possibly within the next 10 to 15 years. And with another successful mission completed, it's an idea that's not completely out of this world. Caroline Malone, Al Jazeera.